This year at the Voting Village, we're compiling audience feedback on our speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or email votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our first keynote speaker today is Representative Jackie Spear. Congresswoman Spear represents California's 14th Congressional District, which stretches from the southern portion of San Francisco through San Mateo County to East Palo Alto. She's a recognized champion of women's rights, privacy, and consumer safety, as well as an avowed opponent of government inefficiency and waste. In 2012, she was named to Newsweek's list of 150 fearless women. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or email votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Jody Westby. Ms. Westby is CEO of Global Cyber Risk LLC. Under Ms. Westby's leadership, Global Cyber Risk LLC has developed an international reputation as a boutique firm that provides first tier advisory and technical services to corporations and nonprofit organizations focused on cyber risk assessments, incidents response planning, cyber governance, and digital inventories and data mapping. She also serves as adjunct professor at Georgia Institute of Technology School of Computer Science. Ms. Westby chairs the American Bar Association's Privacy and Computer Crime Committee, is co-chair of the ABA's Cybercrime Committee, and is serving her fourth term on the ABA President, excuse me, ABA President's Cybersecurity Legal Task Force. Ms. Westby speaks globally and is the author of several books and articles on cybersecurity, privacy, and cyber risk management. She's a professional blogger for Forbes and authors a regular column on cybersecurity issues for Leaders Edge magazine. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on our Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or email votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from panelists Casey Ellis, Kimber Dowsett, Todd Beardsley, Jack Cable, and moderator Amelie Corin. Casey Ellis is the founder, chairman, and CEO of Bug Crowd. He's a 19-year veteran of information security, servicing clients ranging from startups to multinational corporations as a pen tester. He has also served as security and risk consultant and solutions architect. Most recently, he has uh, worked as a, as a career entrepreneur. Casey pioneered the crowdsourced security as a service model, launching the first bug bounty program on the Bug Crowd platform in 2012. Kimber Dowsett is the Director of Security Engineering at Trust, a software infrastructure counseling firm, consulting firm, servicing both the public and private sectors. Prior to joining Trust, she served as Director of Infrastructure Engineering at 18F, a federal agency providing digital delivery services housed within the General Services Administration, or GSA. She also served six years as a Mission Information Specialist at NASA, securing in instrument and ground systems at Goddard Space Flight Center. Todd Beardsley is the Director of Research at Rapid7. He has over 20 years of hands-on security experience. He has held IT ops and IT security positions in large organizations such as 3Com, Dell, and Westinghouse as both an offensive and defensive practitioner. 
Today, Todd directs the Myriad Security Research Programs and Initiatives at Rapid7. Jack Cable is an Election Security Technical Advisor at the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, as well as a security researcher and student at Stanford University. Jack is a top-ranked bug bounty hacker, having identified over 350 vulnerabilities in hundreds of companies. After placing first in the Hack the Air Force Challenge, Jack began working at the Pentagon's Defense Digital Service. Jack was named one of Time Magazine's 25 Most Influential Teams for 2018. At Stanford, Jack studies computer science and launched Stanford's Bug Bounty Program, one of the first in higher education. Our moderator for this pre presentation is Amelie Corin. She is a senior technical advocate at Splunk, focused on helping organizations transform, grow, and secure themselves in the ever-evolving world of technologies and their accompanying challenges. She arrived at Splunk after nearly 25 years as a technologist, from systems administration and engineering to executive technology leadership in various industries, academia, NGOs, and the government. In the last decade, she supported various federal agencies leading various projects and initiatives, including modern, is, mon, excuse me, modernization activities, cybersecurity policy, and security architecture and operations. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or email, votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Martin Mikos. Martin is the CEO of HackerOne, the leading provider worldwide of hacker-powered security. With a community of hundreds of thousands of white hat hackers, HackerOne helps companies and governments find and fix software vulnerabilities before they can be exploited for data breaches or cyber attacks. Previously, Martin was SVP and head of the cloud business unit of Hewlett Packard. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send us an email at Voting Village, um, excuse me, voting, the, voting Machine Village at gmail.com. Andrew, let's just, can we delete that part? Sorry. And I'm just going to redo that. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or email, votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord and via Twitter, at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from panelists David Imbordino, Brigadier General William Hartman, Matthew Masterson, Cynthia Kaiser, and moderator Bryson Ford. David Imbordino is a senior executive at the National Security Agency, currently serving as the NSA election security lead. In this role, he's responsible for overseeing agency activities and partnerships in support of securing the 2020 elections. He's been with NSA for over 18 years. Brigadier General William Hartman assumed the position of Commander Cyber National Mission Force on August 21st, 2019. In this role, he serves as the election security lead for the commander, U.S. Cyber Command. He coordinates the prevention of and response to cyber incidents and campaigns perpetrated by threat actors in order to preserve U.S. critical infrastructure and key resources. Matt Masterson currently serves as senior cybersecurity advisor at the Department of Homeland Security, where he focuses on election security issues. He previously served as commissioner at the Election Assistance Commission from December 2014 to March 2018, including serving as the commission's chairman from 2017 to 2018. 
Cynthia Kaiser is the FBI's Deputy Chief of Analysis for National Cybersecurity, excuse me, National Cyber, um, National Security Cyber Threats. She's covered technology and counterintelligence issues for over 14 years for the FBI and served as an FBI lead for cyber threats to elections since 2017. In this role, she has led election threat analysis, met regularly with state and local election officials, promoted information sharing across all levels of government, and collaborated with partners to help place the FBI in the best, best position possible to impose risks and consequences on cyber actors seeking to interfere in our elections. Today's moderator is Bryson Bort, the founder of Scythe, a startup building a next generation attack emulation platform, and Grimm, a boutique cybersecurity consultancy. He is also co-founder of the ICS Village, a nonprofit advancing awareness of the industrial control system security. He is a senior fellow for cybersecurity and national security at R Street and the National Security Institute, as well as an advisor to the Army Cyber Institute and DHS CISA. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or email us at votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next keynote speaker is Senator Ron Wyden. He is one of the foremost defenders of American civil liberties in the U.S. Senate and a tireless advocate for smart tech policies. Years before Edward Snowden blew the whistle on the dragnet surveillance of Americans, Senator Wyden warned that the Patriot Act was being used in ways that would leave Americans shocked and angry and his questioning of NSA Director James Clapper in 2013 served as a turning point in the secret surveillance of Americans' communications. Since then, Wyden has fought to protect Americans' privacy and security against unwanted intrusion from the government, criminals, and foreign hackers alike. He has opposed the government's efforts to undermine strong encryption, proposed legislation to hold companies accountable for protecting their users' data, and authored legislation with Rand Paul to protect Americans' Fourth Amendment rights at the border. Senator Wyden is a senior member of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence and the top Democrat on the Senate Finance Committee. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send us an email at, um, to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Chairman of the U.S. Election Assistance Commission, Ben Hovland. Chairman Hovland was confirmed by unanimous consent of the U.S. Senate on January 2nd, 2019 to serve on the U.S. Election Assistance Commission. Chairman Hovland also serves as the designated federal officer for the Technical Guidelines Development Committee. Chairman Hovland's 20-year career in elections has been shaped by his commitment to improving election administration and removing barriers to voting. Most recently, he served as acting chief counsel for the U.S. Senate Committee on Rules and Administration, where he was a driving force behind Congress appropriating $380 million in Help America Vote Act funds to enhance election security to the states in 2018. While at the Senate, he focused on the federal government's role in election administration and campaign finance regulation. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send us an email to Voting Village, excuse me, Voting Machine Village at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Today's final presentation is from Washington Secretary of State Kim Wyman. 
Secretary Wyman is Washington's 15th Secretary of State. First elected in 2012, she is serving her second term uh, and is only the second female Secretary of State in Washington's history. Prior to being elected to this office, Secretary Wyman served as Thurston County Elections Director for nearly a decade and was elected, thir elected Thurston County Auditor from 2001 to 2013. Welcome back to the second day of the Voting Village Speaker Track. This year, we're compiling, we're compiling audience feedback on our speakers and presentations. If you have any comments or questions um, or feedback for today's speakers, please reach out via Discord or email us at votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord and via Twitter uh, at Voting Village DC. Today's first presentation is from Ben Jubo, CTO and president of Omelas. Ben began his career tracking the online propaganda of jihadists, Sh Shiite extremists, white supremacists, and the militia movement before joining Google. In 2017, Ben co-founded Omelas with the mission of, to stop the weaponization of the internet by providing precise data and analysis on how state actors and foreign terrorist organizations manipulate the web to achieve their geopolitical game goals. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of today's speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send us an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or uh, via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from John Odom. John is the election administrator for Vermont's capital, Montpelier, by virtue of serving as elected city clerk for the last eight years. Prior to this, John worked in communications and IT for nonprofits and political campaigns. His work has been published on the websites of The Guardian, Governing, and The Huffington Post, as well as numerous Vermont area publications. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of the speaker's presentations, please reach out via Discord or send us an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Jack Cable and Alex Zahir. Jack is an election Security Technical Advisor at the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, or CISA, as well as a security researcher and student at Stanford University. Jack is a top-ranked bug bounty hacker, having identified over 350 vulnerabilities in hundreds of companies. After placing first in the Hack the Air Force Challenge, Jack began working at the Pentagon's Dig Defense Digital Service. Jack was named one of Time Magazine's 25 most influential teams for 2018. At Stanford, Jack studies computer science and launched Stanford's Bug Bounty Program, one of the first in higher education. Alex Zahir is also an election security technical advisor at CISA and a cyber policy master's student at Stanford, working on election security for the Healthy Elections Project. He's also a research assistant at the Stanford Internet Observatory. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord and via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from the National Cybersecurity Center, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our first speaker is Forrest Senti. As Director of Business and Government Initiatives for the National Cybersecurity Center, 
FORCE oversees the Secure the Vote program and the Secure Smart Cities program, both of which were created to identify critical gaps in cybersecurity related to elections and government. Also presenting is Maddie Gollickson. Maddie has experience at the state and local government levels, having supported budget and strategic planning operations in the office of Governor John Hickenlooper, as well as in the office of Mayor of Colorado Springs. Her elections experience includes her work uh, as the Assistant Elections Manager in El Paso County, Colorado. Joining Forrest and Maddie is Caleb Gardner. Caleb is a junior pursuing BS and MS degrees in computer science with cyber operations specializations at the University of Tulsa. Caleb has completed internships with the Naval Air Systems Command, where he focused on RF and cyber exploitation of military and civilian aircraft. He's volunteered at a US Secret Service facility where he provided digital forensic support in criminal investigations. He looks forward to a career with the U.S. Department of Defense. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord uh, or email votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord and via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Nimit Sani and Nayla Mims of Votes. Nimit is the co-founder of Votes Inc., an elections platform that uses remote identity proofing, biometrics, and blockchain technology to enable end-to-end -end verifiable and accessible remote voting via smartphones and tablets. Nimit is a winner of multiple coding and security hackathon competitions, including the South by Southwest Hack to the Future Hackathon in 2014. Nimit's background is in mobile security and software development, previously serving as director of R&D at Oberther Technologies, now Idemia, and prior to that, as director of R&D at More Magic Solutions. Nayla Mims is the principal security engineer and analyst at Votes and has more than 16 years of experience at the Department of Defense, in the private sector, and in academia. Nayla is a certified ethical hacker and has previously served as an active duty officer in the U.S. Air Force, where she engineered security solutions for 40 plus projects at the Air Intelligence Agency. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our spe speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or um, send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Susan Greenhalgh and Dr. Steve Newell. Dr. Steve Newell is a project director for the Center for Scientific Evidence in Public Issues. Previously, he was a senior legislative and federal affairs officer at the American Psychological Association. Susan Greenhalgh is the senior advisor on election security for free speech for people. Ms. Greenhalgh has previously served as vice president of programs at Verified Voting and at the National Election Defense Coalition advocating for secure election protocols, paper ballot voting systems, and post-election audits. This year, we're compiling audience feedback to the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Bianca Lewis, also known as Via Scilab. Via Scilab is a 13-year-old hacker and maker. She was the youngest speaker at HOPE and DEF Camp Romania, has spoken at DEF Con in the Biohacking Village, Voting Village, and the Roots Asylum KidsCon. 
PSI Lab's work was recently highlighted at a congressional hearing on election security. She is also the founder and CEO of Girls Who Hack, an organization focused on teaching girls the skills of hacking so they can change the future. Most recently, she started Secure Open Vote, her own end-to-end -end election system. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found at, uh, on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Mike Spector. Mike is an EECS PhD candidate at MIT and a research affiliate with Google's Android security and privacy team. Mike's research has included improvements to Google's Linux kernel fuzzer, syscaller, finding vulnerabilities in election systems, and analyzing the impact of regulation on encryption. Mike's work has been featured in the New York Times, The New Yorker, CNN, Vice, Bloomberg, Fortune, The Economist, and his joint work on encryption policy led to an EFF Pioneer Award. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have any comments or feedback to any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Sangoon Lee. Mr. Sangoon Lee is an Applied Data Fellow at the International Innovation Corps at the University of Chicago. He, served his, he has previously served in the uh, public and private sector cybersecurity policy in the Republic of Korea. In the private sector, Mr. Lee was a Chief Information and Financial Officer of Epic Heart Inc., a mobility startup company headquartered in Seoul, Korea. In the public sector, he was a security, excuse me, a policy researcher at the National Security Research Institute and the Korea Internet and Security Agency. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from the National Cybersecurity Center, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Our first speaker is Forrest Senti, Gov Director of Business and Government Initiatives for the National Cybersecurity Center. He oversees the Secure the Vote program and the Secure Smart Cities program, both of which were created to identify critical gaps in cybersecurity related to elections and government. Also presenting is Maddie Gullickson. Maddie has experience at the state and local government levels, having supported budget and strategic planning operations in the office of Governor John Hickenlooper, as well as in the office of the mayor of Colorado Springs. Her elections experience includes her work as the election, excuse me, the assistant elections manager for El Paso County, Colorado. This year, we're compiling feedback on uh, the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or email the votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord and via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Javier Patino Garcia an MPK, MPP candidate at the University of Chicago Harris School of Public Policy. 
Before coming to Harris, he worked his six years as Deputy Director General at the Office of the President of Mexico in national security issues like control of firearms traffic, attention, uh, attention of strategic facilities, synthetic drug control, and analysis of crime data, among other things. He has also worked as a consultant in the private sector and the World Bank. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found on Discord and via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our next presentation is from Cordero Delgadillo. Cordero is a partner leading the Emerging Technologies Practice Group at Sublime Law. Prior to joining Sublime Law, Cordero served as a consultant and privacy officer for a cybersecurity and forensics professional services firm in Silicon Valley, and managed new business relationships for cybersecurity across law firms, corporations, government entities, and insurance companies. Prior to working in Silicon Valley, Cordero counseled Fortune 500 companies on privacy and data breach response as an associate at a large US law firm. This year, we're compiling audience feedback on the Voting Village speaker track. If you have comments or feedback on any of our speakers' presentations, please reach out via Discord or send an email to votingmachinevillage at gmail.com. Further details can be found via Discord or via Twitter at Voting Village DC. Our final presentation is from Stephanie Singer. Stephanie Singer is a consultant and data scientist at Verified Voting and has assembled, analyzed, and explained data for private business, public agencies, campaigns, and election oversight. In 2019, she joined, joined the faculty of the Hatfield School of Government at Portland State University. From 2012 to 2016, she served on the Philadelphia County Board of Elections, including one year as chair, improving communication, modernizing processes, rooting out corruption, and protecting voters' rights. Singer co-chaired the statewide election reform committee of the County Commissioners Association of Pennsylvania and is an active member of the National uh, Ver Election Verification Network. 